Hello everyone, welcome back to the Grim Dawn Melee Pistol Build with your host Professor Reha. We are now going to, I'm probably going to actually finish the main campaign in all honesty because there's not a whole lot to do here. Um, we're just going to waltz on over and just take care of the whole Forticon dynamite issue and then basically just go through the necropolis. I mean, there's not a whole lot here we need to do right now because we're going to be, at least for the time being, oops, dying, because aether damage. I keep forgetting my aether resistance is absolute trash. How bad is it? Uh, 30%. All right, yeah. Uh, do we have, we do have a spirit bane, um, but I'll probably save that for the general, because I'll want that 50% aether resistance at that point. That's not what I needed. I accidentally removed that. Why don't we have this on? There we go. And back in we go. Oh, that's why. He just shelled me with absolute stupid amounts of meteors. That's why I died. My goodness. How did I not notice that, by the way? Uh, yep. And uh, it's an offhand. That's a ritual blade, so we don't care either. I keep forgetting I resigned this. Hello. Can you maybe not be so aggressive? Thanks a bunch. There we go. That is what I am talking about. Oh, hello. Okay. Alright. If I had to take a guess, I was standing in Aether. I believe the Arcanist had a Thorns effect on, so I was killing myself, basically. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. You don't want to be doing that. You don't want to be shooting somebody who's got thorns on if there's other enemies around trying to kill you at the same time. It's generally not good. Especially if you're uh, reducing their resistance to your damage type and then you're just hurting yourself more. It's it's pretty tough. Gotta watch out for that. And more stupid... Uh, stinking meteors. Stop throwing those. I somehow do not see these happening in my field of vision. So either I'm meteor blind or something. There's something going on here. If you throw meteors at me, I'm going to be extremely upset. No meteors for you. Get me out of there. good. Excellent. Alright. Get you out of here. Get you out of here. Perfect. Get. And that's all we need here. Perfect. All right. Sweet. And just get the heck out of here. Excuse me. No, oh, I completely whiffed that. That was terrible. There we go. That was pretty lame throw, actually. We just stand here and eliminate you this way. There we go. You'll be free real estate. Actually, hold on. We can. Hey, come here. Come here. That's right. Here. They're not coming over here. It's very inconsiderate of them, but I'm going to go over there and kill them just because there's a hero over there. I want fat loots. Hello. There's the hero. There's two heroes. That's not good news. Hold up. Alright. Good, good. 
Okay, good. Decided to not be pathetic and just really go hardcore on that. It's useless. Alright. Melee pistols for the win, once again. Nice. Oops. Oop, there we go. You get out of here. Mm hmm. That was delightful. Oh, wait. Wow. Wow. And back in we go to the fray. Except these people are pathetic. My goodness. And you are out of here. I'll grab some free bits, why not? There we go. I keep doing that. Out of here. Look, back off. Nobody asked for you to show up. Get out of here. Punk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what the heck I just picked up. Shoulders. No. Oh, there's another mutant legend. Never mind. this and here we go all right let's see how this goes use this we get the extra damage or protections or whatever yep all right that flamethrower guy. There it is. Uh-huh. Ooh. That was a bit close, wasn't it, now? Use this really quick. That was a bit painful. Oh, that's not good. There we go. I walked right into that. Like a dunce cap. I also missed that completely. That was terrible. Keep together, come on. Okay. Oh. Ooh. That was okay. Could have been a little better. Good, good. I ate those for no reason. Was terrible. That would also kind of hurt, but that's alright. Come on. That was trash. What the heck? There we go. That was a vestment of total uselessness. Perfect. Come on. There you go. All right, perfect. We'll just pop out here because it's right next to where we need to explode the dynamite anyways, so whatever. The heavy explosives, pardon me, have to be specific, you know. We'll just deal with these guys really quick because they're nice and weak sauce. Let's increase our move speed a little bit here. Report this in. And then go deal with some Chthonics. It's going to be delightful time. Alright, now 
keep in mind that we're going to lose a little bit of uh, Black Legion reputation when we refuse to kill Anisteria. Go ahead and increase that. We're probably the next level up we'll be able to finish that and start going into Vigor, which will help us just heal more, and then we'll eventually start to be able to get into Steel Resolve, which will help us even more to stay alive. And then Flame Touched. Uh, and then whatever else we've got we can put into Fire Strike and Explosive Strike. Maybe Temper, I'm not really sure yet, it depends on how many points we have. Alright, so now we gotta do a checkup really quick. Observe, here we are. That's fantastic. Black Legion, still in pretty good shape overall, but uh, maybe we can get this to Exalted by the end of Ultimate. Maybe not. I, we may have to do um, bounties. I'm not really sure yet. That's gonna be fairly interesting to see. Oh, I didn't want to do that. We're actually gonna sell some trash really quick here first. While we're in the area, we already know all of this is useless to us, so why not? And, yeah, that's fine. At this point, we'll actually want to be paying pretty close attention, even though I don't think I'm going to need anything out of there, but that's fine. And at this particular point, we rift right to the inner necropolis, and we just Finish, finish the main campaign, honestly. Hey, you're a defender? Yeah, not for long. You're so weak, sauce. So I got my word of rule back up. What the heck? Oh, that was pathetic. Anyways, oh, I actually need to talk to you. Hold on, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be just as much of a breeze as Dark Veil was for the same reasons. My resistances to both Chaos and Vitality are nice and high. I do a lot of lightning damage, which Chthonics overall don't resist terribly well. They have a mediocre resistance to it, but it's nothing special that they write home about, except in rare, specific situations. Those lightning guys, generally speaking, have a pretty fine time with it. What do you do? This guy. The Dread Guards. They're decently resistant to lightning. Actually, they're pretty resistant to lightning overall. Still a temporary uh, setback. Alright. And the last one is somewhere going to be over here. There's a totem there. Which is interesting. I guess we'll go down and take that. Nice. Come on. Ah, I almost got through. Look how close they were all to... At least two of them were to death, and once those two died, I would have been totally fine. Not a huge problem. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and go back the old-fashioned way. I put down a rift, and I'm not going to use it, because first off, they'll just slap me as I'm spawning there. Second off, if I go back to the main rift and take the right, not only will I get to the totem a little bit faster, but I'll probably encounter the last um, blood wagon on my way as well. So, this is probably the smarter solution here. Or I will not encounter the last blood wagon, I will have to search for it. Alright. You know, fair enough. Shoulder plates I'm not gonna need because I say Aether and I don't do that, so. 
That was kind of a trash stun jack, I'm gonna be really honest. Alright. Yeah, it's probably farther over to the right, honestly. Yeah, there it is, I see it, I see it. Alright. Just take you out really quick. And this lunatic. There he goes. He was the big threat on the field. These guys just are pretty defensive against my lightning. That doesn't matter in the face of silver spread. And other delightful items. Hold on. You were still alive this whole time. He's just laying on the floor. <laughs> Whoops. That's a double axe. Derringer. Derringer? I can't quite tell what that's supposed to be. Nope. And guards pierce. Resistance is mediocre. No. Sabatons of Thunder. Lower armor. No good resistances. That is not something we need in our lives. I need to pick up my grave. There we go. We just gotta go down here and take out this blood wagon. There's a hero there, so that's bonus. Rep. Reputation. And, in fact, also bonus experience. Maybe even a good item. Doubtful, but you never know. I mean, the rest of these people I can pretty much ignore because between Ulsman's Wrath and my Or of Censure, that's not going to matter at all. That's interesting. Not good enough, though, because I do want the Chaos Resistance, the Poison Acid Resistance, the Random Heals, the Blast, uh, the Word of Renewal will increase... Uh, let me just punch my mic really quick if you're wondering what the heck that was. I somehow accidentally slapped my mic. That was fairly interesting. Goodbye. I don't need to go down there. I just need to go here. Alright. I think I can just go down here and take a mild shortcut to the circle down there, maybe? Yeah. Yes, indeed. Oh. Pipe down. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and put a rip down right here so we don't have to run all that way. We'll re rejuvenate that every once in a while. say definitely, but very likely. There we go. And at this point, if you have the resistances, a lot of this isn't really going to matter. My armor is much higher than it was in even Dark Veil, so the physical attacks aren't quite as bad as they normally are. So we're in pretty good shape here for this. What? Say that to my face. That's what I thought, punks. Now another thing is, is of course, I do have the advantage of my Inquisitor Seal and Word of Renewal helping me with this as well, so keep that in mind. If you're having more trouble than this build does, because my Word of Renewal is, in fact, decreasing my damage from Chthonix and the Eldritch, and I'm taking less damage, I'm doing more damage to Chthonix and Aether and Eldritch here, so I do have a lot of advantages against these types of enemies, so if your experience is different, it's just because you don't have these, and if you don't have those, it's just because you don't have the Inquisitor class, which is fine.
You just have to forge your own way or pay very close attention to your equipment's resistances more than I would have to necessarily. Just take them all out like that. That's not a door. That's a hero. Step in the circle. Thank you. There we go. The empowered do that's for soldiers in, I think. Yep. Uh, Oath Keepers, that's what I was looking for. Yep. We can run the shrine, of course. Why you don't auto-approach it, I don't know, but you always have to stand right next to it manually, at least I do. I don't know if anybody else's experience has been like that, but it never just auto-moves me to the torch or the... What is it? The brazier? Um, it, I always have to manually do it. Totem right there. That's pretty spicy. Let's go. Put a rip down right here, just in case. Fantastic. I didn't even need to use word of renewal. Oh wait, I might now. There we go. There we go. They actually had to they actually forced me to use the health potion. Champion of the light. Yeah, that's not for us. Useless hauberk, sabatons of heroism, which is also terrible. An amulet we don't need. A shield, a belt of blood, that's terrible. Aether boots, nope. Yeah? Strike me down. Come and try it. Huh? How about that? How about you try that? See how it goes for you. Terribly? That's what we all thought. Come on. There you go. Oop. That's not where I need to be. Silly me. Directions are for kids. What is... Oh, there's a hero back there. Alright. Just like that. All the damage you just did to me means nothing. Goodbye. Oh, another hero. Good. Excellent. That guy just falls over over there. Nice. <sighs> More dweebs up there. Nonsense. Come on. I'm not even going to pay attention to that guy on this side. There are any of these people because I don't need to. It's that simple. I survived that. Ha ha ha. Straight mono mono fight. Come on. I'm unstoppable right now. Throw down another rift, just in case. I'm unstoppable yet still paranoid. Yeah? Weak sauce, come on. Bring me a challenge. This is just more weak sauce. What are you doing? Pathetic. Ah, we'll go this way. That's always blocked off. No, 
not even competition. That's right. And you're just, you're not even going to get to me. Honestly. Actually, we can go in here and grab this quick free chest. There we go, that was useless. <laughs> Completely worthless items. Actually, there wasn't even items there, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is not where I need to be. All right. Mistakes have been made, definitely. Navigation skills, dead. Non-existent. <sighs> Come on. Do you even Cathonic? Do you even Cathon? Didn't think so. Everyone's gone. I think this is the correct direction. Or is this a dead end? This is a dead end with lots of chests, I think, actually. They're all stuck in the... rubble there? That's interesting. Let me put them out of their misery. You're kind of almost out. There you go. There you go. You got out. You're fine. like today. Does it make a huge difference though? Excellent. This is all dealt with, and then we just come in here, we kill these dweebs, we get some free loots. Here, I think. I uh, will put this down over here. Use that energy potion. Yeah, uh huh. I'm barely clinging to life here while I'm trying to. There we go. <laughs> that was very touch and go for a hot second there. Pretty sure I've got him in the bag at this point. Yep. Not even a problem. We're gonna go up here and grab the treasure though, because there's treasure up here. Take that. That wound up too deep in him, so we need to kind of not do that. wipe this out. This isn't even going to be a competition. This is not going to be a struggle at all.
gonna activate my old swim's wrath more often. That's all they're gonna do. Come on, there you go. There they go. I mean, boom. Use whatever you want, you're not going to be able to kill me. Your poison acid does a little bit of damage, because I have 61% resistance there, but that's about it. The rest of this, I made a mistake there. Put the, the seal below him again, the physical damage also kind of hurts, I'll give you that much. But you stopped barfing on me, so... Oh, there you go, never mind. Ha! I said, I spoke way too soon on that one. <laughs> Open mouth, insert foot. Curse thyself immediately. And then the tentacle somehow outlives the actual creature itself. Figure that one out. Yep. None of this is so far even remotely useful. I just picked up something of destruction, which is a good sign. E mm, that's okay. That's okay. I wish the resistances were a little bit better. Um, hmm. Vitality resistance is just not there. We don't need the, that much elemental resistance either. Fire and lightning is okay. A little more armor. I just prefer Isaac Spalders, honestly. Just not worth it. It's just not worth it. Man. Not much in the way of good drops there. Ah, uh, gadzooks. It spooks. Shivering in their socks. That's forticons. That's just waltzing back over here. And... We just chat you up. Skip because we don't care. Ring of the... Yep, that's delightful. We really don't need that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Now, we're gonna go and clear the Aether thing at... Berwich. And we're going to rift to... Well, we're going to kill the boss just because we can. I don't think these enemies are necessarily going to be worth our time. We can find out. Ah, uh, they're alright. They're alright. And it's just going to be such quick kills regardless that it doesn't really make a difference anyways. This is a weak sauce. Get out of here. Ain't got time for you, punks. That's right. Throw some wide uh, stun jacks there, just because I don't want to get all these guys exploding in my face. Ta-da! Run on up here. That was... A trash throw. Oh, there's a hero here. Nice. Oh, look, there was a hero here. Give me trash, too. What the heck? You cut me off from my wizard seal. That's just rude. Okay, yeah, that's mildly problematic. Okay, yeah, that Aether damage, though. <laughs> ah, it's a little something else. Alright. We'll sell our trash later. I'm gonna kill this turd first. Before he burgles the turds. Come 
Come on. There we go. Let's look at you. Alright. I'll go up and grab this last Aether Crystal just because I want it. Might as well clear out this mess too. It takes me all of what, two seconds? There we go. Now we are going to rift to. There we go. Bloom Vault. I could have run there, but I mean, who, who has the time for that? This busy day and age. Come on. All right, this will be a pretty quick. Actually, while we're he while we've got you here, let's sell our trash really quick. That helmet looked cool. That was not a worthy helmet, though. That's fine. I remember that one. Wait, hold on. Nope. And no. I thought that shield might be useful for another character I was working on, but no. Here, put you over here, put you over here. Leave that be. Alright, good. Now we're just gonna do a couple things here and just. We'll just do the two quests here in the uh, Gloomwald because I don't necessarily want to push past the Coven because the Ugden Bog I generally like to put in its own specific episode. It's just a lot more convenient that way. My, either, my poison acid resistance isn't quite as high as it maybe should be. It's only at 61, I think. Yeah. This is gonna hurt pretty bad. Alright. Come on. My attack is being slowed down, and I can take out these guys in the meantime. Before I deal with all that crap. There we go. There we go. My goodness. Eliminate all of you. This is just a bit messy, but they're not as bad because they don't do poison acid. They do cold, which I'm very resistant to. Yep. Go ahead and open this really quick. And then we basically just run up the main road. Which is surprisingly dead. Oh, we'll kill you just because you're here. This is a rare opportunity to just whack you for no reason. Oh, hold on. We gotta back up a little bit here. Your cronies are actually slapping me pretty hard. There we go. Now that we're alone, hold on, you're still slapping me pretty hard. More cronies? We don't need these here. Get out of here. I think I can take you now. Yeah. Plate mail? Pierce and Aether. Um. I lose that chaos resistance, though. Hmm. Not bad in terms of torso armor, actually. I'm not against this. Uh, I just need more. The armor is good, the resistances are good. I just need something to replace that chaos resistance that I will kind of need. Although I don't need it right this very moment either. That's very, very true. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. That's fine. There's a totem there I'm going to want to get. Hold on. No longer have this. We can just clear this slot. That's all right. It'll be a little less aura damage, but 
I think for the protections we get in exchange, it's going to be more worth it. The resistances, the armor. I think it's it's more important that we have those benefits. That was a terrible stun jack throw. That was just trash. What the heck? Wait, that actually looked like it might have been really nice. Hold on. I saw the word destruction, which is always a good thing. Yeah, alright. That's fairly interesting. I don't do aether damage, though, and that's the warped part of it pulling it through there, but that would have been... If that would have been so good if it had been for that aether damage, oh well. I mean, I still wouldn't have replaced it right now, anyways, because I still have the royal exuberance set on. My, my attacks are so slow right now because these idiots just reduce your attack speed. They also reduce your cast speed, I believe, as well. So they're just a menace in general. For no reason. You're corrupted, so that means you're gonna... Yep. Mean nothing to me with all of this extra that I got here. Yep. That was pretty effective. There's a blueprint there. The Relic Bane, Inquisitor. Seven, we... Yeah, that would be really sweet. We actually will want to make that. Didn't I pick up something that was... Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. Belt. Useless. The Conqueror. Hat of Dreeg's Gaze. No. Signet of the Rune Father. Hello there. Now this is nice. All right. So we have something legitimately awesome that we may want to replace eventually. I have to keep that in mind because I'm not going to keep that set on forever. Obviously, Signet of the Rune Father is a nice little touch there. I have to go find that girl's father. He should be right up here, I think. I think he's up here. Yeah, there he is. Perfect. That's a random find. I was kind of wondering if that was going to be a fake plant, a fake chest plant thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolute massacre. What the heck? Nice. There's an in stash. Perfect. Get rid of all these dweebs. Hold on. There's a lot going on right here. Yeah, we can wipe all you out with a nice sun jack there. Let's see if you respawn. You do. Wipe it out again. It's fine. Excellent. You respawn, you do not respawn. That's fine with me. Do you respawn? You do respawn. Nice. All right. Whew. That's fantastic. Oh, that's really sweet. What the heck? Excuse me. Wait a minute. Where are these pants? Where do these pants go? They're... Oh no, they're shoulders. All right. So I lose vitality resistance, which I think I'm overcapped on anyways. Yeah, I am. 23%. So I'll lose a little bit of vitality, which is going to hurt me a little bit in the short run. I just got a huge boost in my piercing resistance anyways, so that 
minor drop in that won't be a huge problem. But this, this is huge. I'm not a high enough level for that, but we absolutely will want those. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do something about this. Oh, nope. There we go. All right. That's big news. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to go back to Homestead, actually, because that's going to have everything we need for crafting and such, because I do want to craft that uh, relic, but we're at the Coven's Refuge at this point, so that's fine. We're going to sell all of our trash. We want to keep these shoulder guards, because that's pretty big news, in all honesty. That's pretty nice. Um... One of these I don't need. Don't need that because I don't do bleeding damage. All right. Fine and dandy. All right, we'll store our stuff. Okay. Nope, I want that. We'll keep the Signet of the Rune Father in our inventory for now because it only takes up one space. It's kind of like, why not? Oh, that's Anastereos. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that. Yep, we can put all of this bling in there. There we go. Okay. What do I need for that relic? Uh, where is that? Where did that go? Bane, there it is. Batman. Uh, fortitude, alright. We need a resilient plating, that's easy. And then we need a glacier, which I believe is, yes, also easy. We already have a lot of this, it's delightful. Yes. Alright, this also gives us plus one to Bursting Round and Storm Spread. You've got to be kidding me, that is beautiful and perfection. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Oh yeah. Oh yes. That's fantastic. I love every minute of that. We gotta store our old, uh, Oldswin's Pyroclasm, though. Alright. <coughs> First off, we got to talk about our reputations. Obviously, the uh, the the coven is going to be in pretty good shape when we get their fetish thing. Uh, I'll probably not really do any more of their quests. Additionally, afterwards, I'll probably mostly be focusing on the Barrowholm quests, which we actually did get to honor. So I'm actually going to go and purchase that writ from them first. I also want to see if I have the recipes for this as well. We have a bit of time to check that out. I didn't slay Crax's Fowl, which I can do later. That's not a huge problem. I can do that next episode. That's just backtracking from the Coven's Refuge really quick. Where is their merchant again? I can't remember where their merchant is. You're not it. I don't think I can access this at this moment because I haven't done the I haven't given Co the Coven's Refuge the uh, heart, but that's whatever. So we'll need to get the rip from them definitely. Uh, the Coven, of course, I'll only be doing their initial quest. I don't think I'm going to need to do much else. Devil's Crossing, we'll try our best on. 
I may get the writ from the coven, though. Maybe. Uh, that's something I'll have to consider. Homestead, we definitely won't need that for. Kimmins Chosen, we definitely won't need that for. Mammoth Resistance, definitely will need that for. We'll probably... I'm hoping to be honored by them beforehand, like I said last episode. Overall, this is looking very good. This is looking very good. I'm pretty happy with where we're at so far with a lot of these reputations. So, that's going to be encouraging. Mammoth Resistance and the... Uh... Devil's Crossing are the only two that I'm kind of iffy about, because there's not a whole lot of opportunities there. The Mammoth Resistance, almost guaranteed, will have to do bounties, but that's fine. Uh, next episode, we will, in fact, we'll kill Caraxes Fowl, obviously, because we need to do that. Then, we'll clear the Ugdenbog quests, which are just going to be Barrow Homes anyways. I'm not really concerned, like I said, about the Coven's Refuge quests. We'll just do Barrow Homes. And then we'll, once we've got the, uh, once we've delivered the thing to the Coven's Refuge, we basically just skip on over to, uh... Oh, we probably will stop and do the Ancient Grove really quick, just because it's there. That's just gonna be a great amount of experience, it's gonna be a great amount of, hopefully, items. We are level 70 in Elite, so hopefully we can get some good items out of that, and then we'll go to Mammoth, and depending on how long it takes us to do a bog, we might be able to do... At the very least, Candle District from Mammoth, and then clean it up the episode after that. So that's the plans for next episode. If you liked this, please uh, like and subscribe, and thank you very much for joining me on this, uh, this particular part of the adventure. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, or ideas, or what have you, please leave them down in the comments below, and have a great 24 hours.